in the studio from 1939, Georges Braque put in everything he knew about painting. He was the co-inventor along with Pablo Picasso of Cubism, and so by this time he had accumulated more than 30 years of painting time. In contrast to a Braque painting from, say, 1908, the outlines of things are more recognisable. We see a plant in a vase, a palette and brushes, a stool, an easel with a canvas on it, a window, wall panels, wallpaper. Yet the picture still has many traces of his cubist discoveries. The main outlines are further divided and subdivided into smaller shapes that can't be resolved completely into real objects in real space. The vertical panels cut through the still life elements, a mixing of the background and foreground that derives from cubism. The palette is painted in three separate sections of differing wood grain textures, painted to give the illusion of collage. The colour harmonies are discordant. Dark orange on navy blue, ochre on violet, that strident orange in the top right hand corner. Yet the painting as a whole does not seem out of balance. In looking at the studio, we interpret the shapes so that they mean palette, stool and so on. Yet simultaneously we take pleasure in the patterns of line, texture and colour. The incorporation of the decorative into his practice was a decisive development for Braque. From this point on, he became preoccupied with the world inside his studio, an artificial world consisting of arrangements of the same few objects into glorious meditations on being painter and on painting itself.